Hey guys, what's going on? Jake Perkins, back on the YouTubes. We are wrapping up dry hay today. Not too bad, it's a third cutting. Uh, after all the rain, I'm surprised we're even getting in here, so we'll take it as a win. Get these fields cleaned up. I am in the process of round baling the edges. Left two passes, so 20 foot around the edges, just to make baleage out of. And the rest we're gonna rake and hopefully get some dry rounds out of it. That'll finish dry baling for the year. 2023 will be in the books. We have a little bit of uh, baleage I'd like to do, possibly, if the weather ends up sticking around pretty nice, but it sounds like it's gonna get pretty cold. So, I really got like 10 acres that I'd like to get. If we don't get it, I'm not gonna worry about it. We have enough feed, it's just a little bit more to sell, but said, I'm not too worried about it. I'd rather get everything nice and clean and get the list together of what we're gonna have to fix in the winter and be ready for 2024. That's what it's all about. Preparing for that next year, making sure the equipment's ready, making sure the ground's as best as we can make it. And we've got a lot of work to do this winter on maintenance-wise for the equipment, a couple big projects, and my field needs some trimming, I just need to come back. Got to haul manure, haul fertilizer, haul lime. So uh, just because we're done bailing hay doesn't mean the work stops. It's uh, time to put in some of the money we've made back into the place. Like that's what we do. Reinvest here. So, so pretty nice looking crop. Third cutting. I'll take it. You're going to make some nice feed. You're going to have a lot of quality, not a whole lot of quantity, but that's all right. We'll take it. Um, but I got three fields of baleage to do, and I'm going to move back around. Hopefully, Mike will have this raked up. Put this up for dry stuff. Thanks for watching along, and we're going to get after it. Mike's here, rolling with the rake. Not bad. That's with the double. He's going to put four together. So, one pass down, one pass back. That'll be a decent wind route. Yeah, this is some junk stuff over here. We're bound up for cow feed. We'll feed it to our own cow. Um, I gotta spray this side of the field. This used to be a pasture, fence line running down the middle. We ended up pulling the fence line out. <coughs> Excuse me. Pulled the fence line out and started mowing this. Not bad, just got some weeds in it. So we're gonna spray it for weeds in the spring and then some lime this fall and fertilize the whole thing in the spring. It's gaining though. You gotta keep it mowed, clean it up, and the weeds start disappearing, but we just want to speed up the process a little bit. Good moisture for making baleage. About 22, 25, 30 percent. Just where I like it. Makes a nice feed. We're gonna roll. Oh yeah. Brother well, does a nice job raking. Let's see what this grass looks like. Oh, it's beautiful. Ready to go. Nice dry. Look at that. Don't get much better. Third crop going up. Last of the dry hay. Let's get it.
gonna have to order them and I'll make it for them and uh, we'll deliver it like that. Also hoping to have the pole barn started. Uh, probably won't be finished once we start hay, but it'd be nice to have that thing up and uh, maybe functioning by the end of the year, next year. And then I'll have a place, a nice storefront to be able to sell the square bales in a smaller scale. Pretty much I've always done by the trailer load. I'll offer a good deal on uh, stacking and delivery. People jump right on it, but I take a little bit off per bale just because I'm trying to move larger quantities. So it would be nice to have a storefront to be able to get a premium for the hay that we're making because it's a shame to put all this nice feed into brown bales and only get, you know, a fraction of what we could make off it doing squares. So trying to make the most out of every acre we got is important because there's not a whole lot of acres coming up in the future, I don't think. I got one big piece, another like probably 40 acres, 45 acres in town that I am trying to get. Um, it's up for lease this year, so I'm gonna put up my big my bid package and see if I can't get that. But it's hard to beat those dairy farms. So they got deeper pockets than me, just hay farming. So, but baler's been good. Uh, we're gonna rebuild the pickup head on the baler this year, and uh, we're gonna rebuild the mower head the rest of the way. And if you guys remember, we only did half of it when it broke on us this year. And we're gonna go through and finish the rest of that. So that thing will be brand new for next year. Brand new cutter bar anyway. Everything else will still be on the other side, but I just shot out some hay. But we're gonna finish this up and call it a day. I gotta do some wrapping later, but that shouldn't be a big deal. Only uh, 20 bales of baleage. Well, that won't take long. Uh, hey, thanks for watching guys. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Hey guys, last day of October, almost. Last weekend of October and we're gonna fire up the boiler. First run of the season, first crate of wood. We will go through about 20 of these. Pretty good estimate, I think. A year, burn eight to 10 cord in the boiler, but that is our sole heat for uh, heat, hot water, and does the garage. Um, does everything, it's loaded with cardboard now. But, first fire up, it's gonna be today. Gonna check all the pumps. Uh, I gotta check the stuff downstairs. I know I gotta add some water downstairs to the in floor heat because I changed the valve. But other than that, let's talk about my wood a little bit. This stuff's been cut for a year. So this is gonna be good in season, it's gonna burn real nice. Um, these crates are so the top of the wood really you got 48 and I'm off the ground there four inches. 48 by three foot and they are four feet long. So you're just under, just under a half a cord, nice and stacked. So like I said, about 20 of those will burn, maybe 25, maybe if it's warm, it'll be 18. But I like storing the wood like this, it's easy. Move it with the skid loader, bring it right in, uh, keeps it off the ground. Yeah, the top's a little wet, but everything under here, look how bone dry that wood is. I don't have a meter or I check it, but it should be perfect to burn. Um, rainy day. So yesterday was our last nice day, uh, mid 70s. I think it probably hit 80 yesterday. It was beautiful. Today we got rain, cloudy. Next week, talking 50. So it's time to fire up the boiler. I write down my start dates right here, so you can see. We're 2020. We did October 21. We didn't do it. You guys can't see it. There you go. We didn't do it till December last year. November 13th we fired up. So this year will be the end of October. Always about the same. That December year must have been a warm year. But boiler shed. I still have not got the metal to finish that after we put the new boiler in. You guys go back by Crown Royal video. Um, first run, it was negative 30, negative 40 degrees. It was a cold day and she ran great. But that is on my list of things to do. 
and I'm hoping my plan is to put a sliding door on one side here so I can either close this side off or close this side off um, I don't really need to close them both off but we got a big snow the snow blows in this way so it'd be nice to be able to cover the front here not get the wood all wet where the boiler is only going to have this little couple feet a couple shovel fulls worth of snow when it's clear so but first step I have to bring the wood up now I gotta check some stuff on the boiler we'll go through and we'll give her a fire it's go time it is uh, getting chilly out go Well, still raining out, but the stove has hit temp, 183, and it is 515, so two hours, I believe the 7300 is 300 gallons, so all things are good, um, now I can start turning on the house stuff, flicking the switches, and we'll have heat and hot water. Be able to shut off the propane. Be all set. It took uh, you know, I don't know, four or five pieces here. Get us up to temp. Now we're in good shape. Chilly morning. Wood left she's gonna restart we just hit it in time i got the stove set on five degree differential so once it hits 175 kicks back on I, that works the best especially this time of year when it's 50 60 during the day you gotta keep it going keep it hot growing season's done baling's all done the boiler's going making hot water hot air and Equipment's getting washed. It's the last piece we got. See the mess, the carnage. It's a disaster. Um, I was working on it yesterday. Got it pretty good. Got to hit a few other spots and like see all that. It just packs in there. It looks great from here. Then, boom, nasty. So I like to do the baler twice. Um, she really only got wet a couple times this year, which is uh, more than. I'd like, but less than normal. So, it's cleaned off pretty good this year, but what are you going to do? This morning we are heading down, going to split some wood. stacking crates this year just kind of filling them up we're gonna burn through these anyway we don't have many left on deck we're just getting after it getting started for the year this is some wood that was all cut up last year and we got plenty to go for what we need um, the plan the plan is to build a, a processor uh, I don't know if we're gonna get through it this winter we should but uh, that's why I have that big sander sitting there you guys have to follow along, check that video out. Someday we get started on that. It's gonna be a multi multi video build because it's uh starting from scratch and uh I'm cheap so we're gonna build everything. But alright, let the tractor warm up, get the hydraulics warm, we'll go check the cows and we'll get after it.
Transport does a good job. It's consistent. The log table works good for stacking wood up. For the light stuff, I can just pick up no problem. Put four or five on there and you're good to go. But works good. I'm happy with it. I use the log lift a lot, even on logs that don't really need it, but by the end of the day, my back doesn't hurt and I can do, you know, wood for a lot longer amount of time without the aches and pains.